Hi everyone. I want you to look at this. This is a sponge, right? What happens when I take this dry sponge and I'm going to put it into the water? When I put it into the water, this sponge is no more dry. It's soaked up all the water. The young child's mind, the child from zero to six, his or her mind is just like this sponge, absorbing everything. And so today, that's what we're going to talk about. This is the first in a series called The Secrets of Montessori. And our topic for today is the absorbent mind. Think of your young child's mind, the child between the ages of zero to six, just like a sponge, absorbing everything around them. Just like when you put that sponge into the water, it takes in all that water. That's how their mind works in the first six years of life. Maria Montessori said that every child has this absorbent mind and that's how he gains information through the environment. And this absorbent mind from zero to six is actually split into two stages. We have zero to three, which is the stage of unconscious mind. And then we have three to six, which is the stage of the conscious mind. So when we're talking about this unconscious mind stage, what we mean is that the child's mind hasn't fully formed yet. This is when all the information he's taking in from the environment around it, he does it without any actual choice or decision. Whatever's happening around him, it just goes in through his mind. This is what is creating the child. So he's absorbing whatever he sees, whatever he hears, whatever he feels, whatever he senses. Let me give you an example through which you'll be able to see what I mean. Now, I have a little nephew. Uh, when he was 18 months old, now he's, he's about 8 or 9, but when he was 18 months old, he came over to play one day. And while he was, you know, exploring my apartment, he found that broom that we used to clean the beds. And so he picked it up and he started sweeping all the beds. Now, think about this. Nobody has ever taught him how to do this but he had obviously seen this happening and he knew what to do and he was doing it as well as an 18 month to two year old child could do it so here's what's even more interesting for me after he had finished sweeping the bed he then bent down and he pulled up the bed cover and he started sweeping underneath the bed now think about that do you think anybody would have taught this 18 month old boy to sweep under the bed and he has to lift the covers to do that. That's obviously something that he had seen happening around his house. It's not something that somebody gave him a lesson, but in passing he ha must have happened to be in the area when you know it was being done and he noticed that and he kept that information. And so when he was placed in a situation where you know he needed that kind of a skill, somewhere from his mind he was able to pull that forward and repeat the action. Isn't that just amazing to you? Doesn't that make you think how wonderful is the child's mind? So that's how the unconscious mind works, taking everything in around you without really making a decision. Now at about three years, they enter the conscious state of the absorbent mind. This is around the time that they're coming to school as well, right? Through all the experience of the unconscious mind, the child has learned so much and he's developed a memory, he's developed a sense of will. So now in the conscious stage, he makes decisions. He's deciding and choosing what he wishes to absorb. What this means is now he chooses, he will come, he will pick up something, he'll work with it and that's how he will absorb the information. Different from before where everything was just going out without any filter. So now, now he makes a decision. I want to work with this particular piece of material. He will pick it up, he'll work with it, he'll explore with it to his satisfaction. When he feels satisfied, he moves on to absorbing different information. This mind of the child between zero to six is so amazing. They're absorbing so much information. If you had to put yourself in that place, with all your added maturity, 
we have to work so much harder to learn things than how they do because their mind is absorbing it effortlessly. Let's take a moment to think about this from the viewpoint of a parent or a teacher. If this is how our child's mind is working, don't we want to immerse our child in wonderful experiences? In the first three years, they're responding most to adults, so you want to talk to them and say things to them and show them things that uh, is going to be useful to them, that's going to help them learn. And when they are in that stage where they are in the conscious, uh, give them activities that are going to stimulate them, that are going to excite them to learn. I hope you found this secret of Montessori interesting. Look out, keep following us, subscribe to our channel because we're going to have more secrets coming your way. Every week, we'll be revealing a new one to I you. I look forward to being with you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification when our next video is up.